Hello, what's up YouTube, Ed's here. Today's video is a Final Fantasy XIV video and uh, this was a request from a uh, viewer. Uh, they wanted a video on the uh, Ishgard restoration and how to get points. Um, referring to the Pegasus mount. Uh, I think uh, you can no longer get that mount so uh, the only way you get it is uh, from uh, the restoration. And as you see there I'm in Ishgard. I'm in the uh, the main crystal area there and uh, the first thing you want to do is come over to this wall here and uh, you'll see a, uh, a recruitment notice for the uh, restoration of Ishgard and um, they teased this I think ages ago that this was going to happen and uh, I think eventually uh, they'll have housing uh, but I know it's still a rumor I think at this stage but uh, once you uh, see that notice um, you want to run over all the way down to the broom uh, you can take the crystal again and just go to this eighth right if you want uh, it might be a bit quicker but um, yeah you can run just as easily and uh, once you get this unlocked um, if you want to just go from the main crystal you can teleport straight to there um, which makes it super easy but uh, once you get there you want to talk to this guy here the gatekeeper and uh, he'll send you on a little fetch quest. Uh, I believe he wants some wine. Uh, so uh, yeah, you have to go uh, fetch some uh, some uh, wine for him. And uh, that's how you get in the gate. And uh, yeah, you just say, yes, I'm ready and willing. Oh, you can take, take it either, it doesn't really matter. But uh, I chose uh, ready and willing. Uh, this is an alt, I've already done this on my main. So, um, uh, I decided to get the alt out here and um, yeah she hasn't done the quest uh, so it makes it easy to make a video but um, yeah if you just follow this quest line it should uh, um, take you to the to get into the front door um, as you see here if you try and get in he won't let you in you have to uh, do the little fetch quest first and uh, it's pretty easy uh, from here you just got to uh, go to uh, the Jewel Crozier I think is where you got to go and um, uh, yeah pick up some wine for him um, if you don't want to run all the way there just use the Aetherite uh, why not it's pretty easy so uh, it'll take you to the pillars yeah pretty easy quest to get started and uh, it's all of it's pretty easy really um, it does get kind of confusing, I guess, when you're in there and you've got to do all the other stuff. Um, I'm going to skip the cutscenes from here, just in case you haven't done them. Um, yeah, I don't want to ruin it. Um, I, it is fairly new, so there could be spoilers if you don't want to... The story is actually pretty good. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty decent later on. There's another part of the story later on. Um, uh, I think it depends on what your server's up to. Uh, but uh, yeah, once you've got the wine, you're going to head back to the dude at the gate. Um, you can either do what I did there and go back to the foundation. Or you could just run, there's a teleporter in the dual crozier as well. You can just teleport back to the broom and skip this whole part. But uh, I decided to go back to the foundation. I don't know why, I shouldn't have. Um, yeah, a bit silly. It just takes longer. If you want to be efficient, I guess. But uh, yeah, this after this he'll let you in the door, and then uh, from there um, uh, you'll be able to do the the quest to open up the other stuff to get the points. But um, yeah, I'll show you it all. So uh, yeah, run back to the dude and give him his wine that he wanted. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I don't know whether this part of the broom doesn't get fixed up. It's been like this for years. It's just that other part. So uh, hopefully this part gets done up too. So it makes it look all nice. But I do love this city. One of my favourites. But I uh, give the guy the wine. And he'll 
should be able to let you teleport into the into the uh, the little area. Well, it's not so little now. Um, the different stages have extended it. So uh, yeah, once you're inside, there's a few more quests you got to do, and then you can start farming the points. Um, this part of the guide's more for uh, very very new if you haven't done this part. Um, but after that, um, yeah, it's for uh, anyone really that's uh, got this far. But um, yeah, here I am inside. You want to go find uh, Francel, is his name? Whatever. I'm skipping the cutscene here again. Um, yeah, I don't want to ruin the story. But uh, the food's crafting food, I believe. Once you've done that, you want to talk to this dude. Um, he has all the information on the current stage of restoration and uh, you can also check the board um, it tells you also information on uh, what's happening what the next project is and all that and uh, yeah, you can go through and check all that out if you want um, it's a lot of reading but uh, it just tells you what uh, uh, the current stage is and what's been done and whatnot. Um, from here you want to go over here to this person over here and uh, this is the collectible uh, appraiser and um, if you've done the um, any of the other uh, hand-ins for like uh, oh, what's that Idleshire and um, uh, Rogers Reach it's very similar to that you just craft collectibles and um, hand them in and you'll get scripts but um, that is one way of getting scripts but um I'll show you the uh, full, um, full way of both ways. There's another way too, uh, through gathering and and the diadem. But um, yeah, just keep doing the quests. Uh, keep going to the, uh, the little quest markers. Make sure you talk to everyone because uh, that's how you unlock the diadem. And uh, yeah, once you talk to these those two NCPs, uh, you should be able to come over and. Uh, talk to this guy over here and um, he's uh, important to talk to as well not only will this unlock the diadem but it also unlocks uh, a way of um, appraising um, stuff you've gathered in the diadem so uh, you want to want to talk to him and finally yeah that's how you uh, um, appraise all your items yeah, if you talk to this guy this is the last part of it and uh, that's some information on the um, the gauge. Uh, it's very good for um, uh, getting mats and um, also uh, shards. You can use that on um, uh, the creatures. Uh, what are they? The, like the fire shards and whatever, and get uh, you get um, crafting shards and whatnot from them. But um, finally, you talk to this guy again at the very end. And uh, from there, you've pretty much done it. Uh, you've unlocked uh, the diadem, but um, yeah, that's the main uh, the main part of it, unlocking everything. So uh, yeah, this is my main now. I'm on my main, and um, I thought it'd be easier to show you because I have my everything leveled and whatnot and unlocked. So uh, what you want to do is uh, either the, either as a miner or a botanist. It doesn't really matter, uh, as long as it's level 10 I think, 10 or 20, I can't remember, I think it could be, could be 10. Um, you can now enter the diadem, and uh, from here, you just want to uh, gather nodes, as many nodes as you want, um, doesn't really matter. You can use this to level, uh, I've got my botanist to uh, 60, and um, my miners uh, was already 80, so it uh, didn't really help me too much there, but um, yeah, I'm in uh, the diadem. You've probably recognised this if you've played since 2.0. Um, it's, it's basically the diadem. They've just repurposed the diadem. Um, yeah, there's a gathering area, which is kind of cool, I guess. It's better than letting it go to waste. And um, yeah, the mobs aren't hostile. So uh, yeah, just hit up no uh, nodes, as many as you want, as little as you want, doesn't really matter. Um, but this is one way of gathering um, 
uh, scripts. So uh, yeah, if you hit hit nodes, um, power up your uh, Aether, um, basically your limit break. It works the same as a limit break. R2 and um, uh, the right joystick push it in on controller. I'm not sure what it is for PC, but um, yeah, it has to be full. Once the bar's full, you you just blast them and it just gives you so many mats. But uh, it doesn't matter what you are, uh, what node you want to hit. Uh, just make sure um, it's around the same level. It doesn't really matter here because I'm 80, so I'm um, I'm hitting the lower ones because they they turn into uh, uh, mats. You can appraise them, but um, yeah, as you see here, that ads are not hostile. The sprites, they're the ones. If you hit them with the um, uh, the limit break, you get so many crystals and shards. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So uh, yeah, just keep hitting nodes, keep getting all the mats, as many mats as you want, as many different mats. Um, you can also fish in here, I believe. Um, I've never tried it though, and uh, as you see here, I've got all those shards and crystals. All of them I've got from uh, Blast and the uh, sprites. So uh, yeah, pretty good. It's a good haul. If you uh, you wanna, you could use them. Or you could sell them, um, either or. But uh, yeah, just continue to get, um, continue to uh, gather up all your mats, um, so you can appraise them later. The more you got, the more points you can, uh, um, you can get. The more scripts, each of each appraisal, um, depending on what item it is, will give you different scripts. Um, the Aether level um, mats uh, give you the most, but you can only gather them during uh, the ethereal weather, and um, you have to be 80, I believe, to get them. And um, yeah, it's, it's uh, only during the Aether, Aether weather, the ethereal wind or whatever it is. So uh, that's the only way you can get them. But um, once you've done that. Um, what you want to do is uh, is leave. Um, you can do this to your level up to 80, or you run out of room. Does it, yeah, like it doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, once you leave, uh, you want to go talk to another NCP, which I'll um, I'll show you in a minute. So uh, yeah, keep gathering your scripts. I'm going to uh, skip forward. All right, so. Once you've uh, gathered up all your mats, you want to come here again and uh, talk to this vendor here. And you can do this singly, and or you can just uh, use the uh, auto uh, button there, and it'll just uh, automatically do it for you. It'll fill in anything you've got in your inventory, and it turns it into approved uh, mats. And um, as you saw before too, you can tab across to the different uh, gathering. Uh, from fishing and botanist uh, and miner. Um, so if you gather as a botanist or a miner or a fisher, it doesn't matter. And uh, that's the list. And as I said before, um, depending on what you gather is how many scripts you get. And um, as you see down the bottom there, those ethereal nodes that are rare, um, you're going to get them in ethereal, whether they're worth the most. But um, yeah, you can s skip between the two. Uh, tab across but um, that's pretty much it for gathering if you want to get uh, scripts that way to get your mounts uh, you can that's no problem or you could then um, sell the mats up after you uh, gather them too or you could use them in uh, the recipes as a crafter to craft it's also another way of getting XP and uh, so you get scripts XP uh, and uh, all your stuff from the vendor uh, as you see there um, some items um, that you can craft uh, you don't need the approved mats but some do uh, the ones that do will have a little stamp on them so uh, as you see there they have a the little stamp uh, the example I'm gonna uh, do the recipe doesn't need it but um, 
it's sort of a mix from stuff from the uh, the diadem and uh, a mix of some of the older stuff too uh, or the older mats so um, I guess it gets you out in the world this one needs the L goat uh, skin and uh, I think it's the logs that you get as a botanist so um, yeah, it's a pretty easy recipe this is just an example I think you only need uh, oh make sure you have collectability on uh, if you don't have collectability on uh, you won't be able to hand them in it's pretty much like uh, uh, Idle Shire and uh, uh, Rogers Reach and uh, the Ruby Sea underneath the dome um, any of those hand in uh, quests for scripts it's basically the same as that and the, you can gather the match yourself easily from the uh, the diadem to use it uh, they're a bit expensive on the board uh, some mats so um, just check the prices or um, server hop if you want uh, cheap mats but um, yeah they seem to be pretty dear on my server for some, some mats so uh, you could gather and uh, make get your uh, scripts and then sell off anything you uh, you don't want and uh, make a bit of guild too so you get a bit of everything for this um, yeah it's pretty good and uh, yeah, it's, this is an easier recipe it's basically th four buttons so <clears throat> yeah it's pretty easy to do as you see there absolutely crush it but um also uh, I'll show you in a minute um, when you're at the vendor you want to do the uh, whatever phase you're currently on because you because you get more uh, scripts don't uh, hand in the older older phases always go for the top phases um, yeah it just gets you more scripts but um, I mean if you want easy scripts it's not many but it's easy um, I guess you could grind it out that way um, I prefer um, gathering uh, I just I don't like crafting that much so um, yeah I prefer to go to the diadem um, gather a hell heap of stuff uh, get them appraised and then sell them off for gill and get my scripts that way but this is definitely another way uh, but um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, I'll show you the vendor in a second and um, also I'll show you how to turn in just in case you uh, haven't done this before this is pretty much a guide for everyone and uh, you know, just smashing out a few of these real quick doesn't take any CP it's basically four buttons so um, you can see the rotation pretty much by the the bottom box there what comes up one more nope that's it alright so uh, once you've crafted up all your stuff that you want to uh, hand in just go to that vendor there and um, he's on the left and uh, hand in as you see there I've got the uh, the item there the uh, leather or whatever it is and you just um, yeah hand them in and you'll see as you hand in I only get uh, like one one or two I think so uh, yeah it's not that many but I mean it's better than nothing uh, that's why I said always go for the uh, the top one as you see there the top one's phase two so uh, yeah you want to always go for the current phase uh, this phase is over so I'm assuming that's why it doesn't give you as many uh, scripts uh, as the uh, the current phase and uh, the one at the top with the little icon uh, if you craft that um, that'll give you the the coupo stamps to play the coupo game and uh, that uh, gives you rewards too but um, you need uh, more uh, uh, collectability for those so you might need food and good gear for them so um, yeah that's I mean that's an option too if you've got the gear and you've got the food um, uh, yeah yeah go for it I guess um, you will get uh, better rewards so it's a uh, risk and reward I guess and uh, I'm just showing you there uh, the recipes some takes the uh, the mats that you uh, uh, turn in to um, get them appraised and some don't so uh, yeah once you've done that uh, pretty much that's pretty much all you need to uh, to get the um, uh, the uh, 
freaking thingies to get the the vendor items and uh, as you see there's the list of the vendor items scripts that's what I was saying about um, yeah that's uh, pretty much it and uh, as you see there these top two you can buy off the board uh, if you've got the the gill you don't have to grind scripts for them and uh, but all the rest um, you can certainly grind out if you want um, I think some some stuff you'll be able to pick up off the board uh, so um, let others grind for it maybe if uh, you don't want to spend your scripts but um yeah that's pretty much it just a, a kind of a long video a guide I hope this was helpful thumbs up thumbs down subscribe and uh, yeah I'll see you on the next one bye